Hello Prep 1E and welcome to your visual arts lesson. Now my name is Miss Elsie and today is a very exciting day as we are going to be looking at one of Australia's most beautiful insects, the butterfly. Now there are lots of different species of butterfly here in Australia, which means they come in different shapes, different sizes, different patterns and may even live in different places all around Australia. Now, today, our activity, we are going to be designing our very own butterflies on a large A3 white sheet of paper. Now, we are going to be incorporating a number of different materials. So we can be using a number of natural materials and what we like to call man-made materials. Now, there are a number of materials that are up to your use that I have included for you to use today. Now, such materials include pipe cleaners, some poster paint, glitter pens, a variety of colored paper, which have been cut out ready for you to use, which actually use patterns and cool and warm colors. I have also included some glitter cardboard and some foil cardboard cutouts and some leaves from outside. Now the leaves from outside are a natural element that we can use and it also incorporates where the butterfly comes from, which is outside. Now before we engage in this activity, I want you to have a quick brainstorm in your heads. I want you to think about what your butterfly might look like. Will it have a number of patterns on it? Different colors? Are the wings going to be different shapes and different sizes? Where does your butterfly live? Is your butterfly shining with light and bright colors because it's out in the sun or is it in the shade using cool colors? Now you might like to also think about how the butterfly makes you feel. Might this have an impact on which colors and which materials you'd like to use? Does the butterfly make you happy? Maybe we could think about some yellow and some warm colors. Or if butterflies make you scared, you might like to think about cool colors using your emotions. There is no right or wrong way to design your butterfly. Just remember that you are designing a butterfly and not another Australian animal. So make sure you brainstorm before you engage in this activity. You might even like to draw an outline of your butterfly before you start gluing down your design. You might like to design your shape of your butterfly, the position it might be in, it could be in midair flying, or you might like to draw it straight on the page as if you were looking at it straight on. Another thing to think about when you're designing your butterfly is what types of techniques can you use? You might like to take your materials and overlap them to show some creativity. You might like to use different colors on each of the wings to show your use of colors. You might like to use just one side of a certain material and another side of certain material or use different materials throughout. You might even like to have your outline of your butterfly just to make sure you stay within the shape that you want. Now there is no right or wrong way to make your butterfly. Remember that. It is up to your imagination and your creativi creativity as long as you make sure you are visualizing and trying to design an Australian butterfly. Now I would like to show you all my butterfly. Now when I was designing this butterfly, I wanted to make my butterfly nice and symmetrical and use different materials throughout. Now I drew an outline of my butterfly before engaging in this activity, just so I could keep it in the shape that I wanted and the size that I wanted. Now I have used the leaves in the center where the body of the butterfly is, just to show that at the heart of the butterfly is its environment. It lives outside, so I've used the natural leaves from outside in the garden. Now another thing I've decided to use, I've decided to use the pipe cleaners and the glitter pen to distinguish my outline of my butterfly, as well as some pipe cleaners for the antennas. I have made the outside of my butterfly on the A3 sheet of paper, I've used yellow poster paint. Now the reason why I've used yellow poster paint is because butterflies make me happy and they live in the sunshine and I resonate the color yellow with happiness and sunshine. 